What's up, YouTube? Jonathan Morrison here. I spent the better part of last night running all sorts of benchmarks. I'm using the 2010 15-inch 2.66 gigahertz Core i7 MacBook Pro. Running Geekbench 64-bit, I got a score of 6,272, which is much better than I thought it would do. I'm going to run you guys through a comparison between Mac Pros, iMacs, and older MacBook Pros. The i7 MacBook Pro holds its ground very well. You guys can see right here, it smokes the fastest 2009 Core 2 Duo iMac. Now for the Cinebench CPU, it came in with a score of 2.5. That's not amazing, but compared to what it was stacked up against, it's nothing to be ashamed about. Onto the OpenGL, which is basically a graphics rendering benchmark. The i7 MacBook Pro came in with a score of 15.81 frames per second. This is great news for those of you who want to do moderate gaming. Now for Handbrake, I took a 23 minute Simpsons episode, exported it to a H.264 format. The i7 MacBook took 13 minutes to a 2008 Mac Pro, which took eight minutes. Now in Compressor, surprisingly enough, the MacBook Pro beat the 2008 Mac Pro. This is a great example of Turbo Boost taking that 2.66 up to 3.33. For iMovie, I took a 1 minute 1080p HD clip, imported it, I got 41 seconds for the i7 MacBook Pro, 20 seconds for the Mac Pro, so it's not bad at all. Now for the export, I was amazed at how close it was. The Mac Pro has 8 physical cores, the MacBook has 2 physical, 2 virtual. It's very cool to see 4 cores moving in iStat. Thank you guys for watching, feel free to subscribe, I got a whole bunch more on the way.